The Northrop F-89 Scorpion is a significant chapter in the history of American military aviation, marking the transition to jet-powered interceptors. Designed by Northrop Corporation, the F-89 Scorpion was the first jet-powered aircraft specifically designed for the interceptor role and the first combat aircraft armed with air-to-air -air nuclear weapons. The origins of the Scorpion trace back to a United States Army Air Force's specification issued on August 28, 1945. The specification called for a night fighter to replace the Northrop P-61 Black Widow. Northrop's response was the N-24, a slim-bodied, swept-wing aircraft with buried Allison J-35 turbojet engines. However, the unfavorable low-speed characteristics of the swept wing led to its replacement with a straight wing. The XP-89 prototype made its maiden flight on August 16, 1948, from Muroc Army Airfield. Despite initial setbacks, including a fatal accident on February 22, 1950, the Scorpion proved to be the fastest aircraft evaluated. This led to the cancellation of the competing XP-87 and the adoption of more powerful Allison J-33A-21 turbojet engines, ANAPG-33 radar, and the Hughes E-1 fire control system. The Scorpion entered service with the United States Air Force in September 1950. The initial F-89A model was quickly superseded by the F-89B, which introduced avionics improvements. The F-89C followed, featuring engine upgrades. The definitive F-89D, introduced in 1954, installed a new Hughes E-6 fire control system with AN-APG-40 radar and an AN-APA-84 computer, replacing the cannon armament with 2.75-inch Mighty Mouse FR rocket pods. The final variant, the F-89J, was armed with the Air-2 Genie nuclear air-to-air -air rocket. The F-89J became the only aircraft to fire a live Genie rocket during Operation Plumbob on July 19, 1957. This version served with the Air Defense Command through 1959 and with the Air National Guard into the late 1960s. The last Scorpions were withdrawn from use in 1969. Throughout its service, the F-89 Scorpion faced numerous challenges, including engine issues and structural problems. Despite these setbacks, the aircraft played a crucial role in the development of American interceptor technology. Its service within the semi-automatic ground environment air defense system highlighted its importance in the early days of the Cold War. In total, 1,050 Scorpions of all variants were produced. The F-89 Scorpion's legacy extends beyond its operational history, serving as a testbed for various technologies and armaments. Its unique design, characterized by an elevated tail unit and high-mounted horizontal stabilizer, earned it the name Scorpion. The F-89 Scorpion story is one of innovation and adaptation, reflecting the rapid advancements in military aviation during the mid-20th century. From its inception as a response to a United States Army Air Force's specification to its retirement, the Scorpion remains a notable milestone in the evolution of jet-powered interceptors.